This technical tip is for advanced framework automatic UDFs. Now what you'll see here is I have several instances of a roller bearing housing. Now if I spin the model around you'll see that I don't have any fixing holes for the roller bearing housing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use automatic UDFs to create those holes. So I just select automatic UDFs. From my library I can select a two hole UDF and then all I need to do is associate this to the roller bearing housing coordinate system. Once associated with the roller bearing housing co coordinate system, it then drives this table here and I can select the dimensions from the roller bearing housing. So for hole diameter, I choose hole diameter and for hole width distance, for the width. I then associate that UDF with the roller bearing housing. Then all I need to then do is update all my UDFs in my assembly and when we spin the model around again, you'll see that the fixing holes have been created at every location of the roller bearing housing. This concludes today's technical tip on using automatic UDFs in Advanced Framework Extension.